Okay, so right now I just have a program to sort only the first row. So you'll see in the middle of this sorting program, it's going to move to the back here. And that's the camera position. So that's going to basically move it over here, take a snapshot of the table, make sure nothing went wrong, and then continue on with the rest of the row. So if I just switch these two, it's just going to swap them. So all I have to do is go to the sort. That's just a little dance that I programmed in and I still have some work to do on the pick positions and the place positions so I have them individually mapped out so if I want to pick up position this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so if I want to pick up position 1 so that's just testing the pick up and drop off location and uh, some of the others are a little better so Two, so let's scramble this table and then sort a little more of it. So just hit sort. So the sorting algorithm I'm using to start with is a bubble sort and that's a pretty inefficient method of sorting. So basically what I have is the red as one, the green as two, and blue as three. So it's basically sorting from smallest number to largest number. And uh, so if I put this ball here, the way bubble sort works is instead of, okay, realizing that this one just needs to be swapped with that one. It's going to check these two. If this one is larger than that one, which it is, it's going to swap it. Then it's going to check these two. If this one's bigger than that one, it's going to swap it. And it's going to continue to do so um, until it gets all the way down here. And then it's going to say, okay, well, these are both blue once this one gets to here. It's not going to swap it. Then it's going to go here, and it's going to swap it, and then that'll be the first pass. Then it's going to have to go through another pass and check, 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 check until it sees the red one again. And then, so that's basically the worst case. So let's go ahead and sort it as the worst case. So you can see that that is very inefficient. So the reason I use bubble sort to start with is that I wanted to end up showing different sorting algorithms and then you can see the time it'll take, the time difference between the algorithms. So I made several improvements since my last video. I made a cover for the machine and then I, uh, I put stainless steel mesh behind it, behind the letters. So I just have Protege on that side too. And I added a light, like we talked about. This is like an LED light. So I made this bracket here that just bends down and over at an angle. I added some, basically, handlebars. So they're not really doing much, but yeah, when I pick the machine up, I'll pick them by those uh, handlebars there. Also, I improved the suction cup. So the original suction cup I had, it worked fine, but at high speeds, the ball would go flying. So what I did was... I found these cups that are meant for older people when they go golfing and they don't want to pick up their golf balls, uh, bend over to pick them up. 
they put it at the end of their golf club and then uh, it, it sticks in. And so what I did was I, I thought I was going to be able to just use this, put a hose barb on it, and then use this as the suction cup. But that didn't really work too well because it was too rigid. So what I did was I used the, let me turn the motors off. What I did was, here, let me just take this off. So what I did was I used the original suction cup I was using and just had of it um, inserted into the middle of this. So basically all the uh, black cup is doing is supporting during fast movements. So when you move really fast that the the cup doesn't uh, It can't really swing too much. So it hits this rubber and it allows me to go much faster The other thing was these this is just a little rubber band with a weight on it and that actually cut back on the noise quite a bit um, It's kind of dampening any uh, unnecessary vibrations and so it really ended up cutting the noise back a bit. I think I might do a video down the road of uh, different ways I've um, eliminated noise on this machine because I've tried several things and a couple of cool ones like this where it's like a clutch disc, it's a dual mass flywheel that I made and it has this center mass that is holding the springs in place and then the outer mass is only connected to the inner mass by the outer edges of the spring. So maybe I'll do a video on this later. All right, well, I hope you guys liked that video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. See ya.